check it out. It is snowing and I'm so excited. I think I told you guys before that I'm getting really excited for winter and for it to snow. Look at the pretty snowflakes. I can't wait until we get some actual accumulation on the ground and for the puppies to be able to come outside and play in the snow. Okay, this really, really makes me want to start decorating for Christmas. Looks so pretty. So right now we're heading to Walmart and then we're probably going to go to Target. So right now we're looking at these Dunkin' Donut coffees and I'm just curious if any of you guys have ever tried these and if so, if they are any good, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'm kind of interested in trying the vanilla nut and this old fashioned donut. Ooh, caramel sounds good too. And blueberry. Okay, who am I kidding? They all sound good and I want to try all of them. Okay, nothing too exciting. We're just in the groceries. I gotta get some, some bread. Okay, now we're in the candy slash Christmassy foods aisle. They have so many cute things here. I'm just gonna go through and show you guys some of this stuff. They have the s'mores and cocoa mug set. Bill actually bought me one of those last year for Christmas and I loved it. 12 copies of Christmas. They have so many good gift ideas down here. There's a pack filled with um, hot chocolates. It's a piggy pack. Sausage and cheese gift pack. Bobblehead, firefighter, football player, cowboy, and a pirate. They have some stuff for guys, like cheeses and barbecue sauces, things like that. S'more set. They have lots of mugs. Check out the sock monkey mug. I love these giant gum tins. I want one of these for in my stocking. They also have sweethearts, nerds, and laffy taffy tins. These are really cute for stocking stuffers. Walmart has a lot of really good stuff for stocking stuffers. Little packs of hot chocolate. Super Mario. Low pop. Keep Krabby Patties. You want some of those, don't you? Okay. Yes, we watch SpongeBob sometimes, in case you guys are wondering. Okay, let's move on from this goodie aisle because right now I just want to buy everything. We've wound up in Christmas land. Here's all of their little holiday houses. Bill actually bought me a couple of these a few weeks ago. Which ones did you get me? I can't remember. Did you get me the gift shop? Do you remember? I can't remember. I know you got me the church and then I think he did get me the gift shop and these light up. I'll show you guys mine later on today because like I said, I'm going to be starting to put up some of my Christmas decorations. And then he got me the church because years ago when I was a kid, my mom had made a really cool church in ceramic. She painted it and that was always one of my favorite Christmas decorations. And then I told him about it and he ended up surprising me with one, didn't ya? Yep. So that was really sweet of him. Okay, look, we're buying some Christmas crunch. Mm. Look at these hats. Do these do something? Oh, they light up. Like my new hat, guys? <laughs> Here's the mason jar cups again. I really like mine. These have different colored straws. Did somebody just burp? That guy just walked by and burped. These cookie jars are so adorable. And here are the Walmart holiday mugs. Which one is your favorite? I think I like the, the reindeer. Is it on both sides? No. I like it when they have it on both sides. I think this one is my favorite. He's cute. There's Santa Claus. Snowman.
And these mugs are only a dollar and ninety-eight cents. Oh, I really like this one too with the cardinal. Okay, now we left Walmart and we are headed to Menards because Bill is going to try to build me this camera stabilizer thing. I saw a video how to make one on YouTube and I think it's, you're supposed to be able to make it for what, under 10 or $15, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna try our hand at making one of that or Bill's gonna try to make me one. Um, Cause I had thought about buying one for when I um, do like different videos just because it is hard to hold the camera steady without having it shaky and things like that. So. We're gonna try to make one, and if it comes out good, I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then I'll um, show you the link to that video in case you guys want to be able to make your own. And if it comes out crappy, then I probably, I won't show you. I'll just tell you it didn't come out right. Holding on. Ah, oh, the sun's back out. And back home into the sun, huh? Yep. Anyways, I'm gonna go, but maybe when we're at Menards, I'll, I'll walk you guys around in the Christmas tree land in their little Christmas town. They have it all set up and it looks all cool, so maybe I'll take you guys there and get there. going on a late night trip to Target. It's actually not that late, it just seems late because it's so dark. Look what I just found. You guys know I have a mug addiction, but how cute that is. Okay, we're going back into Christmas tree land. All the trees look so pretty. I'm so excited to put our tree out. I always love these little Christmas bulb trees. I think I have a few of them. I probably don't need any more of those. Okay, I'll just kind of pan down and show you guys the different stuff they have. Nutcrackers. Those look kind of creepy though. I love these birds. Oops. You want to stay standing up. Oh, little brat. Look, he won't stay. Fine. Stand up. Okay, that's good. I fixed his part. Bill fixed it. He's a Mr. Fix It. Okay. Yes, you are. Anything good down this aisle? Oh, how about this? And drink out of a boot. Found a bobblehead reindeer stocking holder and a penguin. Oh, and the snowman. That's cute. It's little tiny stockings, mini stocking. Stocking accessories, even. Coming up on some more Christmas mugs. See if they have any cute ones this year. Usually they do, but I don't know. What are you doing? Were you sniffing around for your toy? Say hi, Molly. Molly, whoa, Molly was just in here sniffing around all of my Christmas stuff because guess what, guys? I am starting to put up my Christmas decorations in my makeup room today. I just got done wiping down my vanity because it was all dusty. A lot of people ask how I keep my room and my house so clean and honestly I clean a lot. I dust at least once or twice a week if it needs it so usually I just take everything off my vanity and then I wipe this down with glass cleaner and then I put everything back on here and I don't know if I just mentioned it. Today is Sunday. Usually Sunday is one of my cleaning days so I'm kind of just like all grunged out and casual today. Usually like I said I like to clean on Sunday. So I'm still in my pajamas. Oh. 
As I get older, I feel like putting up Christmas decorations, it's still fun, but sometimes it feels like it can be a lot of work, if you guys know what I mean. It's definitely fun, but it's just, it's work too. So I'm just gonna set all of my stuff back in my vanity. Oh, I bought a new cookie jar. I'll show you guys and sit you down for a minute. Okay, there it is. I bought this to keep some of my makeup in. I don't know why, I just like finding different stuff to store my makeup in rather than just like the usual makeup containers. And I like having stuff sitting out of my vanity so I can see it because I just think that it looks pretty. So I bought this cookie jar at Walmart and I think it was like $4.50 or $5. Right now I'm listening to the show Clueless. If you guys have ever seen that show, I was watching the Clueless TV show and earlier I was drinking out of my giant elf mug. I thought this thing is super cute. It says find your inner elf. My mom bought this for me for my birthday. So now I'm just putting everything back on my vanity. I didn't put up too many Christmas decorations on here yet. I did pick up a few things for my vanity. I usually don't go too crazy decorating my vanity. Oh, my ankles just cracked. Okay. This is one of the Christmas decorations I have on my vanity. This pink bottle brush Christmas tree. I love this thing. I bought this a few weeks ago and I just think it's super pretty. And then I have some of my Vanilla Bean Noel lotion from Bath and Body Works. That is one of my favorite Christmas lotions. And I don't think I showed you guys. I put my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in here. Last year I got this for Christmas and I never even took him out of the box. And I decided to keep him in here. I think a lot of people put these outside, but these get ruined really, really fast if you keep them outside. Especially, look at this. His eyes are made out of paper. And this was normally an $80 decoration. My mom ended up getting it on sale and got a really good deal. But you would think for an $80 decoration, you would have something better than paper eyes. He is so cute. Like I said, though, I would not recommend keeping this outside because I feel like it would get ruined really quickly. And he is wearing a Santa hat. I think I have up most of my Christmas decorations in here. I put up some lights and tinsel on my clothing rack. It's kind of hard to see right now because the sun is shining in. And then also around the closet, I put some of the pink and white lights and tinsel. These pink and white lights I've had forever. I bought them at Walmart a long, or Walmart. I bought them at Menards a long time ago and I wish they still sold them because it's pink and white. I've seen just the pink lights, but I've never seen the pink and white ones again. And then this tinsel is just cheapy 97 cent from Walmart. So that's what that looks like. I probably shouldn't get too carried away into showing you guys all of this stuff because I am going to be doing a Christmas room tour in here. So I don't want to show you guys everything. So here's just like a little, I'll just give you like a little sneak peek. I took some of these snowflakes and I hung them up here on my chandelier. I also bought these a few years back from Menards and I love them. They're so pretty. Okay, that's all I'm going to show you guys for now because like I said, I want to save this for when I do my Christmas room tour. I'll show you guys a few more things. I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and I picked up some wrapping paper. I bought some of this peanuts wrapping paper because my sister is obsessed with peanut stuff. So usually I always wrap her gift with peanuts wrapping paper and it's not focusing very good. It's bedazzled. Also, my sister's birthday is coming up so maybe I will even wrap some of her birthday gifts with some peanuts wrapping paper and then I also got this cute snowman wrapping paper. Actually, Bill picked this out. He thought this was cute. And I went to Victoria's Secret. My mom and I went because they're having their secret rewards right now. We wanted to get one. And the day that we went, they also had a deal where if you made any pink purchase, you could get a phone case or an iPad case. So I picked up a case for my iPad mini and I had actually wanted to get this anyways. I was going to go to the store and look at it. I didn't know they were having them free that day. 
and it was normally $29.50, which honestly, when I saw it, I would have never paid $29.50 for this because it's pretty cheap looking, but for free. Oops. So that is what it looks like, and it's just, what do they call that, holographic? You can see my Victoria's Secret Christmassy pajamas, so that's what it looks like. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but there it is. I think it's cute and everything, but there is no way I would have paid $29.50 for this. So I ended up buying a travel size lotion for $8 and getting that for free. And then I bought a mini perfume to get my reward card. I'll show you guys. Okay, this is the little pink lotion that I got to get the free iPad mini case. And this is the mini perfume that I bought to get the secret rewards. And this smells really good. I'm not even sure what the name of this one is. It just says Victoria. And I had a coupon for a free full-sized body mist. Because I got another one in the mail because they love to send me coupons lately. So... I ended up getting Pure Daydream. I really don't need any more body sprays. I probably should give some of these away to friends and family because I have way more than I even needed. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to get going. It's really nice out today, so we're gonna go outside and try to put up some of our outdoor Christmas decorations, but I need to change out of my pajamas first because normally I don't go out in my front yard in my pajamas. So anyways, I'm going to go, but I will talk to you guys later. I only picked up a few things when we went to Target. The first thing that I picked up was this snowflake pillow. And I also picked up this candy dish here that I have some little mini candy canes in. This is really pretty. It's not showing up how pretty it is on camera there. Look at that. It glistens. So pretty. It's kind of random, but I picked up this little baby donut lip gloss in the dollar section at Target because I have a donut obsession. And speaking of donuts, you guys, I have to show you something. This is really exciting. Look what Bill surprised me with a few weeks ago. He bought me my very own donut shop. Look how cute this is. I don't know if the camera's going to focus or not, but in the window you can see a bunch of little donuts. And there's people inside eating and it even has a drive through I wanted to get a little Hot Wheels car to stick in there and have it be at the drive through I thought it was really cute. And this, in case you guys are wondering, is from Kohl's. Also from Kohl's, look what I found, this picture frame and I put a picture of the puppies in it. It's reflecting so you can't see it that good. Let's see. They're dressed in their Christmas costumes or Christmas outfits. Muffin has on a reindeer and Molly is an elf. 